Okay, set up looking good. Um, yeah, look, obviously uh, overdoing it slightly with, uh, who are you gonna call it, your boss, I guess, uh, in terms of trying to get that reverse pivot um, correct, and then maybe just a little bit of fatigue and maybe a bit of homesickness, maybe a bit of confusion. Okay, just got a little bit scrappy here all of a sudden. Um, so we just need to just need to reset a little bit. Um, okay, so first of all, that's take away getting a little bit away from you, a little bit outside the line, and then quite disconnected here at the top, eh? Okay, I must say posture, back tilt, right hip all look good from this angle. Okay, so you're not over the top. Okay, you are above the plane, but you're above the plane because your arms are disconnecting so much. Okay, so look at your plane. Halfway down. Okay, absolutely perfectly parallel. So when you're over the top, your plane will go this way. Your shaft plane, your club plane, the swing circle. Okay, so you're just too far outside. You're too far above the plane, definitely not over the top. So we're trying to get it somewhere there, halfway down. Okay, maybe even, maybe even there if we can. Okay, but a lot of good looking stuff. And then obviously returning outside the line where you started. That's the swing path drill that I asked you to do. Okay, so we just got to get those arms a little closer to your body on the backswing. Um, and then this um, swing path as we deliver and hit the golf ball. Okay. Beautifully through the ball. I love to see that. Well done. Hello, hello. Okay, so just quickly touch on a couple of things there. Um, so reverse pivot basically means we're not turning our body correctly, so when we load, the pivot is your body rotation, so when we load, this angle is moving that way, okay, right. and then we isolated that, the cause of that predominantly was this little right hip movement, okay, but a change in back tilt, the wrong way, that's a reverse pivot, okay, now, you can overdo it the other way as well, right, so just be very careful, right, so we didn't sort of, um, categorize it, let's say, or, or, or use that terminology of reverse pivot, okay, but that is essentially what we say, but it's caused by this, so you've got to be able to load the right hip, and while I was doing that, I wanted to teach you to try and resist as well, so if you can resist, you're going to create a lot more power in your golf swing, natural power, um, so that's obviously good for us, um, so just keep working on the stuff that we've done, right, so load the right hip, resist in the right knee, Okay, and let the shoulders turn behind the ball without changing this angle. Right. I don't like this move. Okay, that's excess right hip rotation, and now you're adding back tilt. Okay, um, you're just going to start, you know, it's good to sort of overdo it and learn the other route, I guess, but you're just going to get yourself in some really tricky situations there. So uh, maybe as a bit of a drill or an exaggeration, but this is, this is too much. Okay, from this angle, yeah, watch out. Watch how this changes. Okay, now your distance from the ball and your shoulder plane changes. Okay, so just don't mess with it too much. Um, anyway, it doesn't matter because hopefully you and I work together now just, just properly uh, without too much interference. Okay, so uh, the other thing I just wanted to talk about quickly was over the top. Okay, over the top again, it's more of a change in plane and shaft plane. Okay. Right, and the two sort of most common, I guess there's variations, but the two sort of most common are when you take the club too far inside, now your arms are nowhere to go, shaft plane is very flat, and then you have to root your arms over to get to the golf ball, okay? Not you as in you, as in a person, okay? So that's one form of over the top. And then the other form I've seen is shoulder plane. So the shoulder plane gets normally, again, too flat, and then as, as a person changes direction, there's a change in shoulder plane, and that causes the club to kick out. All right. You are not over the top. You are, you are a little bit outside the line, okay? And you're definitely sort of above the plane, okay? But you're not over the top. That shaft plane is not changing, okay? The direction of the arm swing is not changing. The shoulder plane is not changing. So don't worry about over the top. Are you outside the line? Yes. Which is why I asked you last week to do the swim path drill, okay? So to get the club and the arm depth Correct. So this is arm depth. Okay. That's outside the line. That's sort of a little in front of you. That's good, quite deep. That's too deep and too far behind you. That's literally arm depth. Right. So you just got to sort of control a little bit. And obviously.
obviously it comes, we can see in that video, a little bit from the takeaway and a little bit from disconnecting at the top. Come on. So, what I want to do, I want to start off with some towel drill. Okay, we use two towels this time. So I want one towel right on the outside of the toe of the tub as well. Just so, just so we're starting to learn our angles. Okay, literally don't even leave half an inch there. Okay, and then towel under the arms. So that's to now attach the arms to our body pivot. Okay, so we don't want to get out there and up there. I mean, obviously setting it to get on. So, right. So arm under the towels. I mean, <laughs> towel under the arms. Okay, tucked in both sides. Okay, we're not taking it out there, we're taking it online with the target. Okay, and then the setting there. Okay, so that's a little deep, a little narrow. Okay, but from there it's easy just to slightly elevate. Pull the trigger. When you pull the trigger with the legs, that will reattach again. Not too narrow, but it will reattach to your pivot again. Okay, rather than out there and that high. Okay, okay so a bit of tile drill. Okay, and then a bit of this tile outside the line. Okay, all right, and then obviously some swing path drill again from last week. Okay, so put one ball just outside there, one ball in front of the ball, one foot just inside here. Okay, and then start doing the two together. So do tile drill and swing path drill together. I mean, you can do this tile because if you come outside the line, you are going to catch the tile. Okay, but just do one of each, I guess. Put those Put those there. Okay, so we've got tile drill there to stay nice and connected. Oh, arms are down in the middle, so let's see. Okay, so it's going to feel horrible and cramped at first, but it doesn't matter. That's what we want to do. And then it's just a slight disconnection from there. Okay, and then oh, some swing path drill. Okay, so foot back, literally just outside the toe of the club. Foot in front, just inside. Okay, <laughs> and then do sort of two with the towel and two without. Okay, so I've got a six iron to do. If you were up to six iron, obviously started like uh, nine iron pitching with something like that, build yourself up. Okay, but two with the towel. Okay, and then obviously two without the towel with a bit more. Freedom and feel. Okay, so work on that for me right now, um, and then send me some more videos when you can, and we will keep working through this. Okay, don't worry, try to cheer up, um, and I want to see some nice progress in the next sort of three to four weeks. All right.